There's been a lot of attention here on Evan uh, Gershkovich, the Wall Street Journal reporter who's been detained and I believe is facing 20 years in prison. You have experienced this yourself, I believe, in Siberia, if I'm not mistaken. Well, what was that? Yeah, what it's, what it's, was that it's like? All around. All around. So, what? T- tell us about the experience of being incarcerated in Russia. Mm, so, the main problem of the system that it did not really, it was not reformed since the Gulag times. So, if you read Solzhenitsyn or Shalamov, um, they attitude to human being didn't change since that time. Obviously, um, conditions improved, where the economy is growing, so some things are changing, but it's basically just changing the color of the wallpaper in a labor camp. Mm. Um, it the people have people are forced to work um, after hours. Um, people in my penal colony were forced to work for 16 hours a day with uh, no days off, no weekends, no vacation. And then at the time when you don't work, you have to work again, (laughs) just in a different task, like digging trenches or doing all sorts of really really ridiculous and pretty much useless activity, which which happens when you work under, um, under forced labor conditions. Unfortunately, we have to work as prisoners by Russian um, penal law, which um, which is something that I tried to change personally in 2014, 15. But uh, for obvious reasons, <laughs> the Russian parliament didn't listen to me. Um, I don't believe in the 21st century. We should have people being forced to work. Yeah. Um, Besides the working conditions, there is also a problem with uh, medical attention. Um, So you basically have Advil giving to you for everything, every condition that you have. And uh, so if you suffer any sort of uh, from any sort of disease or pain, it becomes increasingly difficult to be in jail. So only thing that I can hope for is that Evan is going to be in good health until the moment that he is going to be spot. I really hope that it's going to happen soon. Let, let me ask you about the conditions under which you're working now as an artist, an activist, also an entrepreneur. I know you've got Unicorn Dow as well. Um, you know, being put on this list, we have seen instances where there have been other people outside of Russia whose lives have been put at risk, if not um, killed. Now, whether that was related to the Russian government, we do not know. But um, how concerned are you for you and your family with regard to just this particular action? I'm not concerned for my safety just because I prefer not to think about it because I believe that fear is something that dictators really know how to work with. They use fear as something that paralyzes your action, but it's my personal choice and you only can require heroism from one person and this is yourself. Um, when it comes to my family, it's much more difficult for me. Uh, and unfortunately, authoritarian regimes really know how to work, um, how to pressure you through your family. Uh, before Alexei Navalny um, was put in jail, his younger brother was jailed for three years um, because of Alexei's political activity. And they widely use this type of um, moves to to convince you to stop really and to make you <clears throat> guilty in my case um they do target a couple of people of my loved ones in russia it's nothing as serious as a um, prison sentence or or even criminal case but they are being incredibly annoying making searches um and and asking people i love to you know, shop at the investigative committee and talk about nature of their relationships with me right now. Um, And obviously, those people cannot give them any real valuable information politically or otherwise. The only reason they do it is just to put psychological pressure on me. No. And some of my relatives do not want to leave Russia just because it's their country, it's their culture. 
and they refuse to leave because this is something they love and um, they're not going to abandon it just because of putting 